Welcome to another edition of Some Arts with Nina Eichner from the Somerville Arts Council. Hi. Hey, Nina. Great to be back. Welcome back. Thank it's you. it's been forever. It's 2019. It's, how it did is? we get here? How did how did we get here? It's know. and it's May. It's like almost mid 2019. You wouldn't really know know it from the weather that we've been experiencing, but better weather's on the way. Thank goodness. Yeah. It's May Day. It is. It's May Day now. Today, today as we're taping this. Um, but yeah, the summer, the summer's coming up. It's coming. So I that's, that's prime arts council yeah. season. Yes. You're gearing up for a lot of really great stuff. We are. So, uh, w what are some of the things in the pipeline right now? Yeah. So we had a really good winter, did some planning, chatted with a lot of people. We have a bunch of projects going on. Um, so this month we kind of kick off our season, May 11th, which is Porch Fest. Um, one of you know our favorite festivals. Uh, people love it. We have every year we get more bands. I think we have over 300 bands so far, and people are still signing up. So that's exciting. Um, so that will be 12 to 6 on May 11th, and um, throughout the city there will be bands playing. The music goes kind of as a wave throughout the city. So 12 to 2 in West Somerville. 2 to 4 in Central Somerville, and 4 to 6 in East Somerville. So you can kind of follow the music wave throughout the city. Um, and then starting at 5 p.m., we have the Night Market in Union Square. So we've done this event the past two years. Uh, it's a outdoor vintage and artisan market with live music and a beer garden. Um, but this year we decided it would be kind of a cool combination to do it at the, the evening of Porch Fest. So uh, Porch Fest will end in Union Square, Andy Somerville Union is part of the kind of eastern quadrant. Um, and so people can hang out here, hear music, and then when that's done, get some food in the restaurants and come hang out at the night market. And that cool. will be 5 to 10 p.m. So uh, May 11th is going to be a big day to kick off our season. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, we're hearing the melodious music right now of construction. <laughs> but uh, but the construction will be silent for night market yeah. and uh, are you going to have music at the night market? Yep, so there will be three live bands playing um, throughout the evening, uh, local bands. So that will be really fun. We've had great bands in the past. Mm. And this is a partnership with Somerville Flea, um, who does the Davis Flea Market. So they are curating the vendors and they're curating the music. So they're a really great partner and we really like working with them. So it will be a nice transition out of Porch Fest and continuing the music in the square uh, with vendors, um, lots of really great artists and vendors and vintage clothing and records and things like that. What about later in May? Later in May, so um, after those two events in May, um, we kind of take a few weeks to really prep because June is a big month. So we actually head straight to the first weekend in June after Memorial Day. Um, on Saturday, we have the Big Gay Dance Party, um, which is one of my favorite events. And as you know, um, you're our designer for our beautiful poster um, that gets rave reviews every year. So we'll have you for the third year designing the poster, which I'm really excited about. Um, really gets the branding right on point, I think. Nice. Yeah. Thank and, you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, it really, I, I've enjoyed seeing that evolve every year. And um, so that will be 5.30 to 8.30 in Union Square on June 1st. And the Big Gay Dance Party is an event that we created three years ago because Somerville didn't really have its own Pride event for Pride Month um, besides a flag raising. And we really felt like we needed some type of programming, some festival, something to really celebrate the LGBTQ plus community in Somerville. And for those of us part of that community who live here, we don't always want to have to go to the South End or JP or downtown Boston to be within that community. And so we really wanted to make a clear statement that the city supports that community and we celebrate you know, here in our own city. So the dance party has been a really fun event the past few years. Um, we have drag performances, we have a really great DJ, we have a photo booth, ice cream. So just really kind of a very just fun celebration and we put it at the 5.30 to 8.30 time frame which is kind of an odd time for an event um, because we really want to make sure all ages feel included from very young people to older people in between young, you know, young adults and we want people to feel like they can come here kind of have a fun time with their community and then if they want to head out somewhere else after they have the opportunity to do that we're kind of not competing with other like late evening um, Pride events and 
you know, it makes it more open to people who are not old enough to like go to a club to celebrate or people who are older and don't want to go to a more nighttime atmosphere. So it really kind of feels more inclusive in that way. Yeah, yeah. those are the, those are fun events. Definitely yeah. looking forward to the third year of Biggie Dance Party. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to need that poster pretty soon, actually, huh? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Better get on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is coming up. I guess that's a month from tomorrow is the event. Um, and then the following day, so the first weekend in June is really another big kickoff weekend, um, is Carnival, which is the East Somerville Summer Streets Festival. We do four Summer Streets Festivals every year, as you know, and this is the first one. And it's always a really amazing festival because it really draws on the community in East Somerville and is very like, hyper-local. People really come out from that neighborhood and people from all other neighborhoods really go because it's such a good like, cultural celebration of a lot of um, cultural communities that live in Somerville. There'll be a parade, there'll be lots of interactive activities, some amazing food. So that is June 2nd from 2 to 6 p.m. on Lower Broadway in East Somerville. And um, that, f that festival's been going on for many, many years now. And there's just a really good vibe about it. It has mm -hmm. a really good feel, and it really feels like a place for people to really connect with each other. Um, so that, that's a great event, too. And those two events, the first weekend, are kind of a nice combination for really the beginning of the summer season. Very nice. Yeah, the, and um, Carnival is really like this great celebration of East Somerville yeah. and Broadway and the community, exactly. the surrounding areas. Yeah. Uh, they all love to come out. And and if you want to celebrate East Somerville, yep. head on out to Carnival. Yeah, totally. And I think, um, I mean, one, I don't know if I mentioned this, all the summer street festivals, the streets are closed. So to have a whole section of Broadway closed, for just pedestrians and just for people to be together, I think is a really exciting thing that we get to do every year. And then it's just really a good chance, I think, for people, a lot of people in other parts of the city even, or in Cambridge or neighboring towns don't know about all that East Somerville has to offer. Um, people often say to me like, oh, I don't know about that restaurant or I've never heard of that. You know, they're going to Davis Square or Union Square because they've heard about it more. So I think it's a nice time to really showcase all that East Somerville has to offer because there's so much going on down there. And it's a chance for people who don't live there to get to see it, as well as people who do live there to get to come out in their own neighborhood and connect with each other. Yeah. Very nice. Any, anything else you want to touch on? I'll just briefly mention one more mid-June event, which is the Jazz and Blues Festival. Um, this was a brainchild of the mayor. It's actually Joe's Jazz and Blues Festival. Um, he played in jazz band in high school and really loves jazz and blues music. And he kind of came up with the idea to have this kind of picnic festival in um, Powderhouse Park outside Davis Square. Mm -hmm. And so it's a day-long event. It's 12 to 6 p.m. on June 15th. And it's really just a chance for people to hear some great music. We encourage people to like bring their own food and set up a little picnic area in the park. And um, it's great, you know, a diverse mix of jazz and blues music. We always try to get new bands every year. So it's kind of a very relaxed event. Um, but it's just a chance to see great music and sit in the park and, again, be outside with community and neighbors. And um, so that's a really fun event as well. And, um, all of these events, you can get more info on the lineup and the details on our website, which is SomervilleArtsCouncil.org. Well, thank you for dropping by, Nina. Yeah, it sounds like me. all this planning is coming together, yeah. and yeah, you you make it you make it sound very uh, enticing. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so uh, we encourage everybody to get out there and um, go to these Somerville Arts Council created, sponsored, curated events, and uh, we'll see you out there. Thank you.